Hi, would you like to create so-called corner labels for your maps in QGIS? If so, this episode will take you part of the way to that goal. First, let's start with a blank composer and add a map. I set the scale to 50,000 and add a grid with 1,000 meter intervals. Since it is a projected coordinate system, there will be a lot of numbers as standard. Let's change the font to something more visible. By selecting custom labels, I can build my own labels based on expressions and the grid number variable. Let's start by filtering out the five rightmost characters from the coordinates. Then let's take the two leftmost characters of those. Already much better. The label is built as an expression, but we could create a function for it instead. I've already created a function for this in the custom group. I call the function short number. It takes a grid number as input and convert that into a string. Then it returns the fourth and fifth character from the right. To call the function I use short number with the grid number variable. The result is exactly the same as before, but more complex. So why should I do it like this? Well, I could add a function for long number that is basically the same, but it needs some more logic to result in the mixed sized coordinates you saw in the beginning. On Stack Exchange, I found an article about how to use Unicode to create superscript characters in QGIS. I'll leave a link in the description to that art article. Unicode has by far a larger character set than normal Latin, and it includes characters with superscript like this. To convert from normal numbers to Unicode, all I need is this list with 0 to 9 in Unicode. I also need a way to keep track of the position of each character in the grid string. I do this by counting the number of characters. Then I set up a loop for all the characters in the string and test if the position is 4 or 5 from the right. These characters should be added to the string as they are. All other characters should first be converted to Unicode. This is done simply by referencing the number to the Unicode list. The number needs to be converted to integer first though. Let's just fix some typos and uh, Remember to count down the character position. And that's it. Long number should now result in full coordinates with Unicode superscript added. Now let's combine the two with an if statement.
I only want the long ones if a condition is true. In all other cases, I want the short one. The condition can be anything, but for now let's take every 10th kilometer line. I do this by testing if the fourth character from the right is a zero. You can do this in many ways, but this is consistent with uh, the other code in this episode. Now the full labels are at their correct position, but I'd like to rotate the vertical ones. But I don't want to rotate all the labels, so I need to modify my expression to include only long labels on the x-axis. This means another if statement. So if the axis is x, the long label is printed, otherwise nothing. To fill in the gap, I need a second grid with the same interval. I don't need the lines though, only the labels. I use the same expression as a starting point and modify it to only print labels at long locations on the y-axis. All I have left to do is to turn the labels in the second grid to vertical and maybe increase the distance to the axis sum. If you don't want to write down all the code yourself, you can download my file from GitHub and place it in your QGIS Python expressions folder. That will give you access to the short number and long number functions in the expression build. I will leave a link to my file in the description below. See you next time!